Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. Today I am starting a new series, Angular 15 Material UI. And this is the part 1 video. So here I am going to provide some overview of Material UI and application setup. And also we can do the basic configuration for this Material UI. And in this series, I am planning to cover each and every components in this separate video. It's not about just showing the components. So instead of that, we can cover the properties of components and what are the customization we can apply and even handling. So most of the things I am going to cover. So before starting this video, if you are specially looking for any component, please put in the command box. I will give the priority for that. Okay. And first, let me give some overview of this material UI. The Angular material is a UI library for Angular. So then you may have the question, what is the difference between Angular material and a material UI? So material UI is a global provider. They are providing UI components for different applications such as Angular, React, Vue.js and some other applications also. Okay. For the Angular, they have provided the name as Angular Material. And we have the official site also. So let me go to this link. We have a lot of components and guidelines. Everything is there. The similar way for different UA based applications, they have the separate site also. So let me click this get started. So first thing is we have to install these packages. Okay. So before that, let me create my Angular application. So basically this command will create the new application. So make sure you should have the latest version of Node.js and also the Angular CLA is installed in your machine. Okay, the application created also opened in our VS code. Let me open the new terminal. So we can install our material UI package. Okay, it is saying the package of Angular Material version 15.2.3 is available. This is the latest one. So, would you like to proceed? Give yes. Okay. So, the installation will take some time. Okay, the next thing is uh, we have to choose the theme. So, there are four themes that are available and also we can create the theme as custom. So, let me select this first option, Indigo Ping. And then set up global angular material typography styles. Yes. Include and enable animations. Yes. Okay, great. The installation gets completed. Now we can review the changes. So here we can start from this angular.json file. So in this style section, uh, one more CS file was included. So that is for the theme. Okay. So while installing this package, we have chose the theme is Indigo Pink. That's what it is included. So in case if you choose the different theme, so based on that, the CSS will be varying. So that also we can verify. Let me show you. So in this node model, Angular, then Material, and then Pre-built theme, we have the different items. So we have choose this indigo ping. Okay. And the next change package log dot JSON. So it's not that much important. So anyway, so whatever change in this log dot JSON that will be available in our package dot JSON also. And here to, there are two changes. The first one is angular CDK is included and also this angular material and in our index dot uh, HTML file. There are three CSS file reference are included and in our styles.css. So here also we have some changes. Okay. So basically this is the global CLL. So whatever change included here, it should be applicable for whole application. Finally, in our app.model.ts, this browser animation model is imported. Okay. Okay. This is all about the basic changes that will be included in our material UI installation. Okay. Now we can start our implementation. So let me take one of the basic example. Okay. And also this source code I'm going to upload in this GitHub repos for your reference. I will share the link in the description. So I'm going to create the separate component for each and every material UI components. Okay. So first let me create one component for this input control.
okay next in our app dot component dot html so let me remove all the codes and here we can include our input component okay let me run this application so this one also will take some time okay now let me go to the official link here we have installed these packages so while installing so these all the steps are already included so now display a component okay so let me take one of the example toggle so here if i need to use this toggle component i have to import this model file in our app.model.ts okay and after that we can use these tags in our material UI in some controls we have some direct use that we supposed to include in our control so that's all about the concept now let me go to the component side so here see we have the n number of components like autocomplete patch the similar way all the form controls listing controls everything we have so as i mentioned we can see everything in the separate video for this video let me take this input this is a very easiest one okay so first let me go to this api section so there only we can get the model so if i need to use this input controls i have to import this model otherwise it won't work and in this overview section see so our final output should be like this so if you're clicking this view code option so they have provided separate items like in the html file what we supposed to include and in our ts file and finally in our css file also in some cases it is having some model reference okay maybe some additional file also included if you want to check the complete project code then you have to click this edit basic input examples in stack blitz so let me click this one so here we can see the complete uh, application folder structure and what are the files was there so everything we can refer so let me close this one so as i mentioned i am going to use this input control only now let me go to my application yeah it is in the running mode localhost 4200 so input works that's it so here angular material input okay then i am adding one input tag see this output and our exact output should be like this okay so then let me copy the complete html code we can include in our application and next to the css we can include in our css side and finally this ts so in this ts file uh, we don't have anything okay okay let me save this one see we are getting some error mat label is not a known element so the reason is we not imported the required model so we can see here label so labels are included so in this form field and this input controls okay so let me import the required model here in our app dot model so in this import section let me add mat input model okay so basically if you are typing the reference will be added if it is not coming then we have to import it manually from at angular slash material the common in this input okay then mat input model so let me save this one again it is compiling okay see the exception got resolved 
we can check here see the output so whatever control we have seen in the example the same control we can see in our application also so this is our normal input so let me convert this normal input control into this mat input <laughs> this step is very simple first we have to include this mat form field and the next thing is we have to include this directive mat input see so we don't have any placeholder that's what it's not showing so even if I'm included this placeholder also see the placeholder also coming and here the problem is so I just used one of the component okay then it is not a problem in case if I'm trying to use all the components in our application means it is having around 25 to 30 so in case if I'm using around 20 plus components then I have to include all the components models in our app dot model file so the length will be increased even this basic application I am having only one model so in case if I am having n number of models everywhere I have to include all the 20 plus models then it is really hard and also uh, recently we have this standalone components then in this component import section we have to include every models that also two strains so avoiding that what we supposed to do we can create one common material model so there we can import all of our required models so wherever we are going to use this material UI there we can import only one single model file okay that's all about the customization purpose so let me do this one now first I'm creating on TS file for the material model basically defining any model so we have to use this ng model option and we have to export this one and inside this model we have this export section So there I am going to import the required models. So first one I am going to use this material, I mean this mat input model. Okay, it is not coming. So let me take it from our app dot model. So very recently we have included. I'm just copied here. okay this is fine and next in our app dot model I am going to remove this one and also this mat input model so instead of that I can use this material model so let me save this one there is no error I believe it will work see it is working fine so the same way we can take this select control so let me go to this example we can just select this control only match select okay I am coming to our input dot component so there I am including this match select so if I am saved this one it will throw the error so it is saying match select is the not known property so what I am going to do for resolving this one I am including this model so the package is select 
and my model is max select model the naming structure also almost similar okay it is starting from the mat end with the model so inside that we have our control name okay i just included here again it is compiling okay see it is working so in this output window see currently uh, we don't have any options so anyway our select control is working fine so this is the way we are supposed to follow if you are using this material UI in our angular application so now we are almost in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so as i mentioned in my upcoming videos i will take all the components one by one and also if you are looking for any components please put in the comment box i will give the priority for the particular component so we can see in the next video one of the interesting topic thank you thanks for watching